Hi friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Storytime. This week we're going to be talking more about shadows. But first, we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast. And put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can. And we're going to whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Our theme song this month is called A Circle is a Shape, and we are going to sing about three different shapes. We have a circle that goes round and round. We have a triangle that has three sides, and we have a square that has four sides. Are you ready? Here we go. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. A triangle is a shape that has three sides, has three sides, has three sides. A triangle is a shape that has three sides, has three sides. A square is a shape that has four sides, has four sides, has four sides. A square is a shape that has four sides, has four sides. Yay! Our first book today is called The Black Rabbit, and it is written and illustrated by Philippa Leathers. And this book was an Iowa Goldfinch Award book in 2015 to 2016. And I know that because we have a special little spine label sticker that tells me that. And Goldfinch books are books that um, the Iowa um, School Library Association votes on to say, this is a great book. And we think every kid in Iowa should read this book. So we're going to read it together today. Rabbit woke up one morning and stepped out of his burrow into the bright sunlight. It was a beautiful day. But something was wrong. He was not alone. Rabbit was scared. Go away, Black Rabbit, he cried. But the Black Rabbit did not move. Hmm. Rabbit ran, but the black rabbit was right behind him. Rabbit ran even faster. 
this black rabbit seems to be following our white rabbit around, doesn't he? Whew, the black rabbit won't find me here, thought rabbit, and he hid behind a tree. But when rabbit stepped out from behind the tree, <gasps> there was the black rabbit right in front of him. Oh no. Maybe he's not a good swimmer like me, thought Rabbit, and he jumped into the river and swam to the other side. But as he pulled himself up on the bank, the Black Rabbit climbed out of the water too. Hmm, who is this Black Rabbit? Do you have any guesses? Let's read more to find out. What do you want? cried Rabbit, trembling. Why are you following me? But the Black Rabbit did not reply. So Rabbit began to run again faster than he had ever run before, straight into the deep, dark wood. Do you think the Black Rabbit's going to follow him into the scary, deep, dark wood? The forest was dark and quiet. The black rabbit was nowhere to be seen. <sighs> With a sigh of relief, rabbit sat down and nibbled on a carrot until he noticed two eyes shining in the dark. Oh no, thought rabbit. The black rabbit has found me. Do you think that those two eyes belong to the big black rabbit? It was not the big black rabbit. Who was it? A wolf. And do you know what wolves eat? Rabbits. Uh-oh. Rabbit ran as fast as he could out of the deep, dark forest with Wolf close behind him. Then he tripped. Oh no. Rabbit scrambled to his feet, but it was too late. He shut his eyes tight and waited for Wolf to attack. Look at Rabbit. But nothing happened. What do you think Wolf is looking at? He's looking up above Rabbit's head and he sees something. What does he see? Right there, standing in the sunlight behind Rabbit was the Black Rabbit. And look, the Black Rabbit scared Wolf and he ran back into the woods and left Rabbit alone. Rabbit smiled and somehow he knew that the black rabbit was smiling back. So hand in hand, they bounced off across the field. The end. So did you figure out the mystery? Who was the black rabbit? That's right. The black rabbit was Rabbit's shadow. Black Rabbit disappeared when Rabbit was in the dark woods without the sunlight. But as soon as he ran back out into the sunlight, that's when Black Rabbit appeared because that's how shadows work. We need light like the sun and then an object like Rabbit to block the light of the sun and that's how shadows are made. We're gonna sing a song about shadows called My Shadow, sung to the tune of My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. And this song I think will help explain a little bit what Rabbit experienced with his shadow. Are you ready? Let's go. My shadow is sometimes behind me. And then sometimes it's in front. 
Sometimes it is short, sometimes longer. It's made by me blocking the light. Shadows, shadows, they're made by me blocking the light. You see, shadows, shadows, they're made by me blocking the light. Yay! Great singing, friends. Should we sing it again together one more time? Let's do it. My shadow is sometimes behind me and then sometimes it's in front and sometimes it's short, sometimes longer. It's made by me blocking the light. Shadows, shadows, they're made by me blocking the light, you see. Shadows, shadows, they're made by me blocking the light. Yay! All right, I have some animals and objects here, and I need some help matching them with their shadows. So remember, a shadow is the same shape as the object that is blocking the light. So can you help me match these animals and objects with the same shaped shadow? Great, let's go. So our first animal is a caterpillar. What color is my caterpillar friend? That's right, she is green. Now let's see, which shadow is the same shape as my caterpillar? Is this shadow the same shape as my caterpillar? Nope, they're not the same shape. They both have antenna up here and they both have feet, but my caterpillar has more feet than this shadow. So that is not a match. What about this shape? Is this shape the same shape as my caterpillar? Nope, not the same. What about this shadow? Is this shadow the same shape as my caterpillar? They both have antenna. They both have feet and they both have a little arm that's waving. Yes, this caterpillar is the same shape as this shadow. They are a match. Good job. All right, next we have our bumblebee friend. Let's find the shadow that is the same shape as our bumblebee friend. So let's see, what about this shadow? Is it the same shape as our bumblebee? Nope, not quite, not a match. What about this shadow? Is this shadow the same shape as our cat or as our bumblebee? Nope, not the same. What about this shadow? Is this shadow the same shape as our bumblebee? It has two antenna and it has two feet and two arms and two wings. This looks like a match to me. Good job. All right, next we have some tulips in a flower pot with a little caterpillar and snail friend down at the bottom. So let's see, is this shadow a match for our flower pot? Are they the same shape? Not quite. What about this shadow? Are they the same shape? Let's see, 
I count one, two, three, four, five flower shadows. And in our flower pot, we have one, two, three, four, five flowers. We have the same flower pot shape. And you can see the little end of the caterpillar and the shell of the snail. Does this look like a match? I agree. Good job. Okay, and we have our very last object here, our little toadstool mushroom, and we have one shadow left. So let's double check and make sure it's a good match. What do you think? Is this shadow the same shape as our toadstool? They both have a stem and they have a round top. I think this looks like a good match. There we go. One, two, three, four friends and objects reunited with their shadows that are their same shape. Give yourselves a pat on the back, friends. You did great. Our last book is called What's Going On In There? And it's a guessing book written and illustrated by Jeffrey Gran. Now with our game that we just played, we matched the shadows to the same shape object. And in this book, we are going to try to guess what shape the shadows are from. And there might be some surprises in this book. Let's find out together. Welcome to Granville, USA. It's an ordinary town, but things are not as they appear. Let's take a walk and see. What's going on in there? Are those boys and girls taking a test? Shh, quiet. So let's look at our shadows in this picture. So it's at an elementary school, and it looks like there are kids leaning over. One of them has their hand raised. Do you think they're taking a test? Looks like they could be. <gasps> no, they're not taking a test. The drinking fountain overflowed. So everyone is taking rowing and swimming lessons. <laughs> So look, the kids who we thought were riding at their desk, they were holding oars for the boat. And the kid we thought raising his hand to ask a question, he was doing a cannonball <laughs> in the water. That's silly. All right, here's our next one. What's going on in there? Are Aunt Martina and her friends pulling saltwater taffy? Let's see, it does say Astro Sweets Candy Company. And if you've ever seen someone make saltwater taffy, they take the sugar um, material and they stretch it and they push it together and they stretch it and that's how they make the candy. That kind of looks like what's going on here, don't you think? Let's find out. <gasps> They're not pulling taffy. Aunt Martina is planning a trip to Mars, but bringing along some saltwater taffy would be a great idea. So look, they were building their spaceship, not pulling saltwater taffy. <laughs> All right, here's our next one. What's going on in there? Are Dino and his brothers making pizza? The building does say Dino's Pizza. It looks like they're wearing chef hats and tossing pizza dough in the air, don't you think? Let's see. <gasps> nope. They don't make pizza here on Thursdays. 
Today, Dino, Bronto, Stego, and Terry are building a dinosaur. <laughs> they tricked us again. Okay. What's going on in there? Are Derek and Eric getting ready for Christmas? What do you think? Does that look like the shadow of a Christmas tree? <gasps> nope. They're not getting ready for Christmas. They're giving Octavio his afternoon bath. It's always Christmas at Octavio's. Look, what we thought were the boughs of the Christmas tree were tentacles instead. <laughs> All right, what's going on in there? Is Butch getting a haircut? He'd better hurry or he'll be late for his karate lesson. I don't know, friends, that looks to me like a haircut and a karate lesson. Do you think it could be something else? There is a little tiny note on the door. Can you see it? It says circus today. Hmm. Sure enough, Butch isn't getting a haircut. He's watching the circus. Didn't you notice the sign on the door? <laughs> Go back and you'll see. We did notice the sign on the door, but I wouldn't have guessed that that karate lesson was really a trapeze artist and a clown on stilts. Would you? <laughs> okay, here's another one. What's going on in there? Is Eunice feeding her cats? She sure has a lot of them. Looking at those shadows, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cats. That's a lot of cats. Let's see, what else do you think she could be doing? I don't know, let's find out. No, Eunice isn't feeding her cats. She has only one cat and his name is Otis. So what were those other shadows we saw that looked like cats? That's right, they were branches of the tree and they looked like they were cat ears or cat tails. Do you see her one cat Otis in the cat tree? Yeah, he's just right up there at the top, isn't he? That looks like a pretty fun place for a cat to live. All right, we have a few more. What's going on in there? Are the rackets making dinner? What do you think? They could be. What do you think the kids are doing upstairs? Waiting for dinner? Oh, they're not making dinner. Mr. and Mrs. Racket are playing tennis, but when they're done, they'll have pizza for dinner. Whoops, someone should tell them that Dino's Pizza is closed today because of the dinosaur. And look, what are the kids doing? Are they waiting for dinner? Nope, they are the referees of the tennis match and they are keeping score. All right, here's our last one. What's going on in there? Is everyone asleep? What do you think? It looks like they're in their beds. Let's see. Yes, <laughs> everyone is asleep. Sweet dreams. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for those fun books and game and songs. 
But now it's time for our goodbye song. Here we go. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go 